I bet my not-so-great body on a great hand, and damn was I right. Instead of dead, I was ahead for once, and ready to break the case of the century. Hey, Chief. Did you hear they served scotch with lead at Icarus? I didn't hear anything, especially not from you, because you weren't fucking there. I got some evidence. Ties to green. Rock solid. Fuck. First you sent me that bullshit report, and now you got evidence. You listen to me right now. You weren't there. Understand? And we're not talking now, either. In fact, I haven't spoken to you since the accident. Got it? Chief. Nope. That's it. I'm pulling you off this case. Steiner, out. Crusty old bastard. Why do you have to throw me off the case? Steiner's just trying to cover his own ass, hide behind regulations, minimize damage, not solve the case. I thought he had bigger balls. Fuck. Learn something new every day, I guess. No doubt about it, this case smells worse than a two-week-old corpse in a storm drain. So many victims. Who's really behind it all? I don't know his name, but I can already tell what kind of man he is. Judge, jury, and executioner all by his lonesome buries the needle on crazy. I try to stop thinking about it. I try to back away, shut it down, for one simple reason. I'll tell you one thing for damn sure. If I knew where to look for that prick, fucking nothing would stop me. This city has a disease. Something festering. Somewhere deep down. Underneath the routine of concrete and steel. Below the predatory grin of the neon lights, an infection has set in. It's like... Like everybody started having the same nightmares. Night after night, I know the dream. The one that makes me wake up drenched in sweat, hard about to crack open, scream locked in my throat. And something's chasing me and there's nowhere to hide and no matter how fast I go, it's always faster. And I can hear it right behind me. Any machine you bring him, 
long as you're not picky about where the parts come from. The opera. You take away the singing and the shitter break in the middle, and all you got left is your average daytime soap. One of the most expensive restaurants in the city. Tiniest fucking servings I've ever seen in my life. Pitiful. Another starless night. No surprise there. This much air pollution. Every night starless. They say it's necessary. Necessary to dump even more pollution into the air. Fuckers. sense to me anymore. But this, I understand. Sweeter than perfume. <sighs> the Icarus disaster has shaken the city. Now new facts have come to light which will bring you live in just a moment, in an exclusive special report. I wonder how Sarah is dealing with it. Fucking rich. Even the dead can take someone off a case. Shit, Sherlock. They've been trumpeting it all over the media for an hour. Wait till they find out politicians have tried to lower the age of free body subscriptions again. People are gonna lose it. Maybe they'll finally get around to doing something about it. Hopefully. I mean, I know we can't get involved, but someone needs to tell them enough is enough. Do you know that I barely saved up for my first subscription? All the money was spent on living. If I had to pay a year earlier, I, I probably wouldn't be here. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Thousands of people in the same boat every year. Not everyone makes it. These fucks want to take away what little chance they have. But it's not politics. People
people's lives depend on these decisions. They're what decides if you end up in the freezer or not. Cool off. You're young. Oh, fuck off with that bullshit. I really can't understand it. I mean, they knew about the consequences. How can they just make decisions like that between drinks? Like human lives mean nothing? Are there any moral boundaries left? Boundaries still exist. You may not cross them, but some people are just evil and don't try to understand them. Why? Because they're bastards, and only other bastards can understand them. Okay, hang on, Mr. Pessimism. Did you just admit there are good people in the world, and they include us? We may not be the best, but yeah, until we screw up. <laughs> okay, that sounds more like you starting to worry. You know, I didn't think it was possible, but looks like we're on the same page. James, can I ask you something personal? We'll see. Do you believe in life after death? The real one? And I thought I was the drunk one here. Well, apparently in the past, people used to ask stuff like that all the time. Because the average lifespan was less than a hundred years. And now? Can we believe in anything beyond this? Okay. Wait a sec. Let's just say... I believe in technology. Now we have Icarite and the bank. I love to believe in all that other stuff. Rachel say. Nada. I'm sorry. I forgot. I overstepped. Relax. Nothing happened. What if you could choose? The bank or death? Oh, shit. Death of life without Rachel has no meaning. I'm sorry. Damn it. Bloody hell. James? James, what's going on? issues? Yes. A whole list of shitty side effects. Those damn shivers. You know what's funny? I get the worst shakes in the toilet. Well, that might be where the last guy I like to shoot up. Part of that may be conditioning. Memory imprinted on the shell. When the body gets certain signals, it's trained to react, expecting the drugs. Okay, got it. You were the one who took notes at school. Do you take care of regular synchro tests? Are you taking ambrosia? Yeah, yeah. I'm an exemplary citizen. It's important that you do it. Thanks for caring. This is my fourth body. I can handle it. What are the weirdest synchro issues you've heard of? I only know cases from police files and... They're not very amusing. I heard about a guy whose senses swapped places. Extreme synesthesia. He heard colors, tasted sounds, and reacted to smells like he could physically touch them. I know what synesthesia is. He was doing fine until he died in a garbage truck accident one morning. Well, did it hit him? No, he was standing next to it. The smells killed him. Well, as for your issues, how did the last Icarite transfer go? Why do you ask? Well, did it go smoothly, or did you feel something along the way? Well, apparently we're unaware during the transfer, but... Damn, I remember the burning and itching all over my body. I thought I was going crazy. Seth and my partner said something was weighing him down. He also knew a guy who felt like he was falling off a cliff every time he changed bodies. It's probably nothing unusual. Ah! 
seems to be telling you to go home. You believe in science? I believe it's 2 a.m. and I'm getting sick of you. Seriously? Shit, I owe you an apology. Didn't look at my watch. James, I know you have your demons. I've read your file, but you've got to learn to control them. I know it's got to be difficult for you, but you know the saying? The sleep of reason produces monsters. Put the vodka away and rest. It will help. Yeah, rest doesn't work for me. Besides, it's a title, not a saying. What? The sleep of reason produces monsters. It's the title of an old drawing. I saw the hologram. The guy falls asleep with his head on the desk. 
disk. There are boogeymen and bats swirling around him. I could come in for him. You can almost hear the flutter of their wings. It was uh, Goya, I think. Oh, suddenly you know art. Rachel knew art. She liked this place too. Used to stop here sometimes when I picked her up from work. It's time to go back, James. Please, take care of yourself. Sure. 